You want to come up? Right? Yeah. And John. As set forth in the indictment, it is alleged that in the months prior to August 12, 2017, Mr. Fields, who was 20 years old at the time, utilized numerous social media outlets to express, espouse, and promote various views, among other things, his white supremacist views, his support for the social and racial policies of Adolf Hitler and Nazi Germany, including the Holocaust, and his support for violence against African Americans, Jewish people, and others who he perceived to be non-white. The indictment returned today charges James Fields with 30 separate civil rights violations. Count one alleges that Fields, uh, charges Fields with a hate crime resulting in the death of <coughs> Heather Heyer, a violation of Title 18, United States Code, Section 249. Counts 2 through 29 charge fields with hate crimes involving the attempt to kill, also violations of Title 18 United States Code, Section 249. With respect to all 30 counts, it is alleged that fields acted in this case because of the race, color, religion, and national origin of that crowd that was at the bottom, the intersection of Fourth and Water Streets. These 30 civil rights charges are the most serious possible under federal law. Each of the first 29 counts, the 249 counts, carries the maximum, a maximum possible penalty of life imprisonment. Count 30, the violation of Title 18, United States Code, Section 245, is punishable by a sentence of up to life imprisonment or by death if the Attorney General and the Department of Justice file a notice of our intent to seek the death penalty. Finally, I want to express my gratitude and sympathy for the victims of and the witnesses to these alleged crimes. August 12, 2017 was an awful day for these victims, their families, the Charlottesville community, and our country. And we are grateful for the courage resilience and determination of these victims in helping us vindicate these vital national interests.